Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope all is well, hope you guys are blessed. Um, today's topic is going to be about my story on um, domestic violence, um, abuse, abuse in a relationships, abuse, abuse gr growing up, but like I'm talking about hitting so people can understand that it's not of God, it's not right. Um, so we're, we're going we're gonna to touch on it, we're going to touch on it. But before we go into it, let's just quickly pray. Father God, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory, we give you the adoration, we bless your holy name. Father, we cover this life in the precious blood of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that whoever this message is for or whoever this story is for, Lord Jesus, let it touch the right person, Lord God. Father God, let them be like fully touched, Lord Jesus. Let there be also a deliverance. Let the um, testimony help somebody, Lord Jesus, to be free from abuse, Lord God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Father God, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Have your way. I, I cover everybody under the sound of my voice in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hi, guys. Um, today, I want to speak on my testimony on domestic violence and abuse because... Um, I think the two of them, it kind of, it, it's together. It's together because um, when you're in an abusive relationship, a lot of people, like outsiders, I would say, why is she still there? Why is she still with him? And then you've got the other card where people want you to stay in it, you know, because they're thinking the encounters that they've had with the individual, like, he's a nice guy, he's nice. And sometimes people like to judge and think, tell like, it's the person, it's the woman, it's like, you know, it's her, she's this, she's that. So, let's just get into it. I'm going to try and go, like, um, as honest as I'm led, as the Holy Spirit leads me. I can't tell you everything, but I'll tell you as the Holy Spirit leads. Um, why am I touching this subject? Because I was going to totally just do something else, and then the Holy Spirit put this into my spirit. And it, it, the reason why it came is... Um, um, I, I saw a video that's going viral about a pastor killing his wife. So obviously, when you when you hear about things like that, you just it takes you back. Like wow, like you know, this stuff is real. It's real. Like you know, you can be in a relationship and your um your partner's beating you up, and you know, um, I saw in in that video that I saw, her brothers came around. Like no, her brother came to talk to the guy, you know, and um, it just took me back when my cousins used to come and talk to the person that was doing it to me, you know, uh, and they they were always like, like you know, like not having it, like the way I saw the brother in the video, he was so upset in a rage, you know, for his sister. And, and it just took me back when my cousins used to all come and say, you can't do that to our sister because Actually, they're not, they're, they're not even my cousins because I was raised with them. So I, I took them as my brothers, you know. I'll call them, they'll come. And it, it, that same, you know, getting it into with a guy, you know. So um, let me just start how it started for me. And I pray, I really pray that somebody, this um, video lays in the hands of somebody that really needs it. Like it will touch you. Um, it will give you the wisdom to go to your prayer room, pray about it, and just escape that, that wickedness, you know. And before I go into anything, we're not here. When you see us coming up on here, we're not here to fight against the flesh. The Bible tells us in um, Ephesians 6, 12, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the principality in high places. And you need to understand, before everything was, before um, everything was, yeah, there was, it was just um, um, the land, it, the, it was just a spirit. And then God spoke. God is a spirit. He spoke, let there be light. There was light. So please understand that we are dealing with spiritual beings, yeah? Things in high places that some of you are baby Christians, you don't understand. But it's, it's a war, yeah, between good and bad in the spiritual realm. So don't think, oh, how can she say this? How can she say that? I am not fighting against 
um, my ex-partners, yeah, that who put their hands on me. No, it's not about that. It's about me to tell my testimony so someone out there can say that, you know what, with all that she got in, she got out, she's serving God, you know, glory be to God that I'm here today to tell my story. So please, please, please don't be judgmental, yeah. I'm opening up my testimony so someone out there can be free from this spirit of, um, you know, uh, abuse, you know, um, beating, hitting, abuse. It's a spirit, yeah, but it's just operating in a body. All right, we give thanks to God. And I pray that God gives you understanding and wisdom. Praise be to God. So basically, I'm going to start from when I was young. So when I was young, I used to get hit. So obviously, when you used to get when I used to get hit for whatever reasons, it's a pattern, yeah. So then, after now you're into your relationships and guys hit you, you you accept it because you're thinking to yourself, well, it's already been done to me as a child, and I wasn't a bad child, you know. The, the people that I was under is frustration. Like if 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 let's just say I didn't cook something properly, you get hit. Let's just say the house was not clean enough, you get hit. So now going into um, relationships now, you're with guys and they've come, they're coming with their anger issues and they're hitting you. You're just accepting it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're accepting it because you've, you've already had it in your childhood. So now that you're in relationships, you're just thinking it's the north. But then when I got into the second one and I thought to myself, mm -mm, you know, three kids with this individual and then you're thinking boys as well so you don't want boys growing up doing that thing thinking that it's normal so then i had to stop and think to myself and then like you, you yes you because you as a woman you just don't want to break up the family you think everything's on you how are people going to look at you stuff like that the families are, you've already had one failed you know relationship and that one also was domestic violence that's why i left you know, that one was domestic violence and alcohol on that, per that person's behalf, you know, on that person. So I had to get out of that because that, you know, the person would drink next day, don't know what they've even done to you. So that was tossed, that, that was a lot. Then obviously you, you go into the next one. It's all be in the beginning. The signs are not there. You know, sometimes people see the red flags, but in the beginning, the signs are not there. So you go into the next one now same things happening but the thing is with the, se the second one it's like you want to work it out because you're thinking you've already done a failed relationship already with a kid in that one and then another one and then you know you got these kids in this one and then you're thinking if i come out of this people are going to definitely think it's you you're the one with the problem you know so you as women do we stick it out we stick it out we stick it out but for me i think my problem my um psychology or mental state is because i took it as a child under the covenants of the people that were looking after me the grown-ups that were looking after me so because i accepted it or i had no choice to accept it then then i took it into when i got into relationships but then that second relationship that i had with my son's boys i said uh -uh, enough's enough because i remember when the school called me and they said to me come and get your son and can we speak to you after and then the teacher told me that um my my son which was like what reception was hitting little girls you know and it's not a thing she said it wasn't the first time they were just monitoring you know the way they look at little kids and they say okay this is getting like it's a pattern so you know they were like is there anything happening at home i was like no you know you you lie you just cover it up but that was my wake-up call i just thought i have three boys I don't want my boys growing up hitting girls. Like, what does it say about me? Do you understand what I'm saying? So that was a, um, a wake up call. Like, I can't keep doing this back, forth, back. And it was so horrible. And I don't even know why I even, looking back now or looking back, like, looking back, it's just like, you don't, why would you take that? Why would you take that? You know? But obviously, then when you're in it, it's just, you just think, oh, I love him. And I don't know what type of love that is because obviously I didn't even know Jesus then the way I know Jesus now. But that's that's the lie of the enemy, you know, that you love the person, you can't leave them or it's like self-help kind of thing that you need to help them. Like all these just crazy thoughts that go into your, into your mind, you know. And then, um, so it's like, 
the, the worst thing as a woman, I can't talk for the men. I'm talking for the women. The worst thing as a woman is you're in this stuff. It's, to it's very toxic. Like, it's just too much. And then you've got children. So now, if you can't do it for yourself, if you can't come out for yourself, and if there's children involved, come out for those children. Because I had to think of my children. I had to think of my children. And then they might be ladies that are in it and there's no children that's that should just be a default just get out for your own safety get out of it because seriously it was like it was like make up break up make up break up and then the, you're confusing your children or well, the young that the, the my boys were young but my daughter was confused you know and then it gets to the point where um a, a, a child is calling the police because she's afraid because she doesn't know what what's going to happen next so all these things you're just like you know, for me, I was done. I was done. It was like a roller coaster. Get out, come back, get out, come back. And then the hitting as well. You know, the, the, so to, it's like there's a rage spirit, there's a jealous spirit. And obviously, um, there's a lot of negative, um, things going on because both people, then I didn't know Christ. I didn't know Christ. So you can imagine how many spirits were just lurking around and, you know, this thing would be okay for a season, then domestic violence. Okay for a season, then domestic violence. And then sometimes you'd be like, okay, the police will come or the neighbor will call the police and then you lie that, no, it's okay. Or sometimes I'll just be like, yeah, that's what happened because you just want your peace, you know. But seriously, women, God loves you so much. And I don't know if he was pressured into that marriage. I don't know if, because a lot of women say, but I'm married to him and I'm married and I'm married. And I... God doesn't want you to be in an abusive relationship. That's not of Jesus. It's not of God. It is really not of God. You know, and I wasn't even going to come up here. I was supposed to talk about something totally different. And then the Holy Spirit dropped this in my spirit, you know. And some of us live to tell the story. Some of us live to say, listen, guys, I said it before. I'm not coming on here to bash these men. Yeah, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. It's, we wrestle against the principality in high places. Yeah, Ephesians, um, Ephesians 6, 12. Yeah, probably that person would, had stuff to deal with. I had stuff to deal with. But even this is a thing as well. We need to be careful. Deal with your stuff. Deal with your stuff before. I keep telling my children, relationships are for marriage. Marriage is for people that are grown-ups. You've matured. You've had time with God. God has molded you. God has, you know, and things as well. When you get into a relationship with God, it says it in the Bible. Rachel, Ruth, Esther, yeah, God will give you your mate. Don't rush into marriage because of family, because of people, because of, oh, my, my clock's ticking. No, 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 because this is what's happening, yeah? And it's not just now, it's crazy because it's happening in the church. A lot of people have gone into marriages of because He's got good credit, he's got this, he's got that, or she's pretty and she's this and she's independent and she's got this. And she... if, let me tell you something. If God has not given it to me, this is what I tell my kids. I don't want it. I don't want it. Because if it's not from God, there's some kind of surprise later on. Something's going to pop up and it's just not, you know. So please, guys, seek God first in everything that we do. I'm just one of the blessed ones that can come up and say, come up and be telling you guys my testimonies. I said I'm one of the blessed ones. So, you know, because I've seen other people tell their stories. But I thank God. I really do thank God because it could have gone to the left. We go into things, we're young, we're coming out of uh, like. We're coming out of childhood things. We're coming out of families. We're coming out of we're coming out of stuff. And some of us, our parents, were not even like practicing um, Jesus Christ, practicing you know um, the Word of God. 
So like, can you imagine you're meeting somebody, they don't know the, um, they don't know the word, you don't know the word, they've got their baggage, you've got your baggage. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a real, real lot. And you know what? The men that do this stuff, if they don't repent, God will judge you on judgment day. But ladies too, what I did is I look back, as I said to you, it started in my childhood. But then again, I started asking questions because I started like, okay, this guy did it. This guy did it. This guy did it. So I started asking questions. You know? I started asking questions like, hang on a minute. It's occurred three times. So what's going on? Am I the problem? I started looking into my lineage. Asked my grandma some questions. My grandma said, yeah, your dad used to hit your mom. I'm like, what? Because like, this is the beauty when you start having a relationship with the Holy Spirit. He will give you insight to ask questions to the root, get to the root of it. And then you know what? Once you get to the root of it and you, re um, you rebuke that spirit, those type of men won't be attractive to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? My grandma said, yeah, your dad was a jealous person. Your mom was pretty, light-skinned, this, that, that. And your dad would hit her, like, if she was late for something or whatever. She would say she was going somewhere. She'd come back late. And then I saw that in the, these guys. I saw that in these guys that, you know, abused me. So I thought to myself, no, I'm going to get to the root of this. Yeah? So, yes, women, we've gone through this abuse. But then you need to ask questions. Mom, was this done to you? Was it done to grandma? Yeah, anything, because what we don't understand and what the church is not teaching, everything is a spirit. Things just do not happen. Yeah, just generational curses. So now if you deal with that spirit, that spirit don't have no legal right to come in to your daughter or to your child, your grandchildren. Or if you don't deal with it in time, it will come, it will come in, you know. So this is where we have, to, we have to understand as well, spiritual warfare. Things just don't happen, guys. The world of lie to us. The church has lied to us. The church has lied to us. There's such thing called spiritual warfare. When you get this Bible and you, you take it like a weapon, it says, the, it says the word of God is like a sword. You get it and you say it and you bind and you loose that spirit. Whereas today we're speaking about the spirit of um, rage, rage, anger. To hit someone is rage, it's anger. It's the spirit. If God can only open your eyes, because rage now is it, anger. When, when you see someone, they're arguing, arguing, that's anger. And then the rage comes and then that's when you don't know what can happen. Guys, we really need to wake up. We really need to wake up. If you're going for the same type of guy, you need to check yourself. You need to get into the word. You need to ask the Holy Spirit, why am I keep going for this type of person? And the Holy Spirit will teach you, show you, pick, pick it up from the root of it. From the root of it. From the root of it. Guys, I am not saying that I'm perfect, but there's just certain things. When God has spoken to me or opened my eyes, I do not entertain. I do not entertain certain things. And due to this stuff that I was, you know, experiencing and the hurt and the, you know, guys hitting you and, and that, like, they're putting their stuff on you. And you know men want to hide and go on that they don't have stuff. Oh, yeah, you have stuff. From when you're hitting a woman, you have some big stuff that you need to get delivered from. You know? So then you've got your stuff you're coming from. And then they've got their stuff. And obviously this is person stronger than you, whatever. And instead of talking, they don't know how to talk things out. So their way of dealing thing is hitting you to control you and the spirit that is in them. Woman of God, sister, 
I am saying to you now, think of yourself. You have a life. God has given you life and he's given you to you abundantly. He wants you to live, live to the full and he wants you to serve him. He wants, God wants you to serve him. He's put some, he's put a, he's put a whole book in your, inside of you. For, for it, children, if there's children in these marriages, in these relationships, get out for the children. And I'm not saying that um, women don't hit men. If, if, if that's the case and you're, you're a man and the, the woman's doing it to you, leave. Because we're in different times. I do see women also bu that being bullies these days. I see that the opposite sex doing, doing that as well. So yes, if you're a man and you know it's been done to you, leave. Leave. Because the next time that, that spirit rises up, you just don't know what can happen. Guys, we're in the UK, but I want you to go and Google. There was a pastor, it's gone, it's gone viral, yeah? A pastor killed his wife outside a bank day board, in the daytime, yeah? In the US. And I think they even, they've labelled it Ghanaian pastor, you know? But for me... I just want to come to someone today. If you're going through domestic violence, abuse, come out. That person's not going to change, especially if they're not getting help, if they don't have a mentor, if they don't know the Holy Spirit. You can say, oh, but Esther, you just said that person was a pastor. But there's a lot of people saying that they're, they're pastors these days. I, I don't even go on that. Make sure... You're hearing from God before you go and start getting yourself into a relationship and marriage at that. People want to jump into marriages because, oh, my cousins, everybody's done it. Everybody's done it. Everyone's married. Mom, uh, I'm, I'm getting old. Did it, did it. Wait for the Holy Spirit to tell you. Wait for the Holy Spirit. Wait for the Holy Spirit. They said um, in heaven, Lucifer was beautiful. That is a beautiful angel. All these guys that come to us. I, as I said as well, it can be a woman as well. Okay, guys? Because me here, I'm trying to help women. I'm trying to help women to get out of bondage. So if, if I'm talking about women a lot, you just put yourself as a man, agree, take what you, you, what's good and go and work with it. Or I just pray that it blesses you. But here, I'm really trying to take, talk to my sisters. Yeah? I don't want guys thinking, oh, you know, she's leaving us out. I'm talking to women. My experience, my story, my testimony to women, my sisters. Guys, stop looking at looks. Stop looking at what he has. Stop looking at, you, you know, because the devil gets us with, with the finest things. He has this, he owns this. Da -da. Stop. Stop. And really have a, like a, a like... Pray, pray and fast when you let these men in. Because let me tell you something. What the enemy is doing this time, warlocks. Setting you up, especially if you're a woman of God, he's setting you up with that warlock. Somebody that looks like um, it's, the, it's, 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 the, it's the real one, but it's a counterfeit. It's not even, it's not of, at all of God. So if you're not praying, what are you going to do? Babes, we are in serious times. Serious times. The devil's trying to take a lot of people with him because he knows he can never enter the kingdom of God again. Never. So whoever's there available, yeah, if you're not actually having that relationship with God and just crying out to him and asking him, what am I here for? What am I here for? Even right now, if you are listening to this and you're going through an abusive relationship, Get into your secret place. Lord, what am I here for? Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Cry out to your God. He'll give you a way to come out of it. He'll give you a way to come out of it. Pray. God did not put you 
in the hands of a man to hit you. God did not put you in the hands of a woman to hit you. Because women do, I've heard stories that women do it as well. I've heard stories that women beat their husbands. I've heard that. Guys, I went through it when I was a child with abuse. Then later on, ran away from that house, met the first boyfriend. It was cool at first. Then as you go into it, as you know, the colors start showing. Second one, same thing, but even worse. So you women that you, you saw it in the first one and you didn't wake up. And then the second one, if you're in, if you're, if you're having a relationship with God, and you go into something and God is the foundation, it's gonna it's gonna work, it's gonna flourish, it's gonna work. But you need to understand, I come at the first, the second was worse because there was no God. So I'm to I, I tend to tell the girls that if the first one you was in the world and then the second one also it's the same fruit, it's not gonna work. If God is not the foundation, God has to be the foundation. God has to be the foundation, guys. And you know what? Really get to know that person. Let that person be your friend. 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 Get confirmation from the Holy Spirit, yeah? Not just once. Get confirmation from the Holy Spirit. Like, just be friends. And when, when I say friends, just actually be, like, don't focus on him. Focus on God, yeah? And then God will tell you, he will channel you that that's the right person. Because if God has given you something, there's no way that that fruit can end up hitting you, doing the most to you, um, rage, jealousy, checking phones, all these things that I, I've been through, like literally, you know. Guys, I'm going to tell you, it happened to me three times. Like when I say three, diff three different guys. But the beating was not just three times, it, you know, the beating went on, on and off, on and off like that. But those three guys, I will never, afterwards, I never, ever went for that type again, you know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but I pray, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this video touches somebody like a wake up call. Guys. You can't be raising children and there's domestic violence in the house because that spirit is going to go on to those kids. It's, it's spirits. It's spirits operating in a body. God has his angels to go and do good and to war for us. The enemy has his demons. Yeah, his spirits. So now you're raising these children and they're seeing these things. Yeah, and it's just a matter of fact time that these the kids are acting out what they've seen because of the spirit that's been lurgling woman of god how do we deal with that spirit you curse that spirit out once you know that okay i've identified it you curse it out in the name of jesus you spirit of anger out i renounce i divorce out of here in the name of jesus then there's rage. You spirit of rage, the same thing. Matthew 18, 18. I bind and I loose out. Guys, I know some of us have come from a culture, a background where they press you about marriage. They, when are you going to settle down? When are you going to settle down? Like, guys, God has, God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our father as born again christians he has a perfect plan for you don't rush don't it's not about what your parents want you to do and how out of your sisters everybody's married and all this do you know the thing about me god has given me this kind of spirit as i don't i i've never been one of those watch 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 and competition nah i mind my own business I focus on me. I don't do competition. I don't do that. 
I don't, I don't even have a spirit of jealousy like, oh, my sister's got this or, oh, my cousin. I don't do those things. I don't do those things. And this is what gets people in problems. When you're out of your lane and you're watching somebody else, what somebody else has got, what somebody else is going on. And those things, those, the, 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 those whispers, yeah, come and start like putting things into your, your, um, spirit and then now you want to like oh i need to get married i need to do this i need to do it and then you're jumping into things that god did not permit for you to jump in guys i'm saying to you i did not i wasn't going to jump on here and talk about domestic violence i was not i was going to talk about something completely different but the lord was like tell him your story your testimony I've been there and I was in it and to the point where some of the stuff is so horrible that I can't even say, you know, I went through beatings. I went through it. I went through it. But some of it is just so ugly to bring up again, you know, unless God says say it, I'll say it. But some, I went through it. And uh, do you know? To be going through it and you've got family members judging you, putting you down. Then you've got the church looking at you as well. Oh, she's, got, she's a single mom. She's a single mom. But, bro, I'd rather be a single mom than be, like, not here to tell the story. I'd rather be a single mom than be in, like, hiding, like, uh, like you know? So once again, church, people, stop judging. You see someone that's single or you see someone that's got children minding their own business. You don't know what that person's been through. You don't know what that person's been through. You don't even, you don't even know what it takes. It takes a strong woman to say, I'm done. I'm walking out of here. I'm done with four children. I'm done. But oh no. Culture, you want to judge, you want to say she's this, she's that. She's I've even heard some women say that certain certain women are witches because they've walked away from their husband. How dare you? How dare you? Lord Jesus, I just repent. I repent. I repent for myself and I repent for people. My sister. If you're in an abusive relationship and you have young children, even if you don't have young children, you, you're in it yourself right now. Seek your Jesus because he'll tell you what to do. Don't stay in something that can take your life away and you, you, you've, you have an opportunity to walk out that door. I do give counseling so you can, you can email me. I'll leave my um I'll leave my details at the bottom. We do mentorship, we do counseling, biblical Christian counseling. And then there's another phrase that I've heard, um she's what? She's it's always like they give a somebody can actually say I did it. I hit her because of this. She's leery or she's mouthy. She's got a mouth on her. Can you imagine that you're actually making it acceptable? Like you're, you, you think it's right because the person answered back or because the person's... No. A real man. I always tell my boys, a real man does not hit a woman. Walk away. Walk away. Keep your integrity and walk away. Jesus was always there for the women. He said to the ones, you throw to any one of you that don't have a a um a fault in you, like you, you no sin, throw the first stone. Ladies, let's work on ourselves. Don't jump into relationships, don't go into relationships because of what he has or how he looks like or for your own evil like um motives yeah and i beg of you that jesus christ is the focus is the foundation of that relationship 
because if God is not in it, that's in relationships, that's in your children. I've learned in every area of my life, if God is not, the minute like I, I take him out, oh, but the minute that he's in, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you know what as well, us women as well, we tend to, who you cry to as well, be careful, be careful who you're telling your stuff. Because the very person that you're telling your stuff is the very person that's laughing at you, taking it back to the wrong people, even, God forbid, even telling the abuser, the person that's hitting you, your partner, you know? And I have to say this as well. You women of God, that young people come into you and sharing their stories with you, and then you go, you prob you tell your husband, and then the next day the husband's looking at the, the individual in church like, mm-hmm, yeah? Women of God, <laughs> you think you've got away with it here on earth. You better repent. You better repent. I remember I came into the church, the first church actually, this whole Pentecostal whatever you want to call it, charismatics, yeah, I told the woman of God, my life, this, that, that, what I've been through, guys, this, that, that, you know, sleeping around, this, that, that, you know, and here's me thinking, she's a woman of God, she went and told the whole leadership, that's how they do anyway, it's not even her, I, I, it was like, the ones that I was thinking, they're women of God, mama of the church, first lady. You need to stop. You need to stop because women are broken and they're coming in the church and they're trusting you. They're trusting you. Some of these girls haven't had mothers. Yeah. So we've come to you thinking, you know, well, I was a young Christian there. Can I do that now? No. Mm -mm. Wisdom. Godly wisdom now. But I'm talking about the ones coming up. They come in, they're young, they're confused. They're looking at you like the first lady, not knowing that the first lady is the first one. That's why they probably call her the first lady. She's the first one that's going to let you down. Not all of them. I'm not saying all of them. I'm talking about my experience. Yeah, because it didn't happen once. It didn't happen twice. You know, girls are coming from the streets. They've got problems. And then you, they come to the church to speak to the woman of God. And then she gets a click and they're always talking about you. And you know, you know, I knew, I knew. I had the spirit of the Lord, I knew. But you know what I'll say to you women of God, you need to repent. And it's not that you just talk about us girls that are coming in. There's other secrets that you guys know that your husbands do and you keep quiet. You need to repent. Women of God, you need to repent. If some of these girls are coming to you and telling you about their husbands are beating you, them and you're going around spreading it around the church, you need to repent. You need to repent. There's so many churches that are broken homes. Broken homes. Young homes. Even adults' homes. Because I have friends that tell me, you know. I don't know why I went there. Maybe the Holy Spirit needed to, that was for someone. Some some woman of God, that was for you. Yeah, because I'm I I came on here to talk about it. But it is abuse. It is abuse. It's a form of abuse. If somebody opens up to you their darkest secrets and then you go and tell your your little team, your leadership, you know. I I really pray for the a church to repent, you know. I really do, I really do pray for the church to repent. They've hurt so many families, so many souls, you know? One of my sons, he's not my son, son, but the father of my daughter, you can't even tell him about church. But this boy had a prophecy from what is it again? Aba, um, Abana, Abana, Eastwood Abana. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I'm not Ghanaian. So he had a prophecy over his life. And I'm still praying for this boy. You know? But what he saw in the church, the gossip, and the way they treated me as a single mother, he was like, mm -mm, I don't want none of this. I don't want none of this. I don't want 
they're hypocrites. It's about business. It's about money. This boy kept telling me, mom, mom, you're silly, you know. You're silly to go to church. So now, just intercede for his soul, for him to come back to Jesus. This is what the church is doing. Women will come in with their children. You people just gossip, gossip, and the kids will run away from Jesus because of you, Lord. He's seen too much in church. He's gone to this church, he's seen this. Gone to that church, he's seen this. So the guy decided to just be like, mm -mm, I don't want to serve this God. But I pray that Jesus will remember him and have mercy. Serious. Guys, I came on here to talk about domestic violence. I pray that I pray that I pray the name of Jesus, that a woman is touched. Jesus loves you. Jesus wants to set you free. His original plan, seek for his original plan. I was there one time. I was there. I was there alone, crying with children. But then I got the strength to get out. If you are in an abusive relationship, I pray in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. That you will find comfort in him and he'll give you the will and the, the strength to come out or to speak to the right people. I'll cover you in the blood of Jesus, your children in the blood of Jesus. Spirit the living God, help this woman of God, help that man of God. If it's a man that's been abused, come out. If it's a woman, come out. Seek your God. Ask God what to do. He will tell you. And if there's children involved, I cover those children in the precious blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Right, um, I just want to give you two scriptures. Yeah, I'll start with the, the man because obviously the Bible tells us the man is the head. Um, Ephesians 5, 20. 25 yeah so it says husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and give himself up for her there's nothing about hitting there there's nothing about hitting love your wife like god loved the church i'll be putting that scripture up again ephesians 5 Verse 25. Women, this is what I got for you, women. I got, if you're being abused, this is what I got for, for you, okay? This is what came up in my spirit. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God did not give you a spirit of fear, but he gave you a spirit of power and of love power and of love love yourself ladies love yourself god did not give you a spirit of fear there's people out there you can contact you can email my, myself you can drop me a message at the bottom i just pray in the name of jesus that someone someone wakes up it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I've been there and I came out. And even when I came out, I wasn't who I am today. That's why it, I said I need to pop on. I don't know where the strength come from. But I did kind of, I, know, I knew God, but I wasn't practicing. I hope you're blessed. I love you all with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that you all repent, you know. Repent if you went in it unknowingly or you wasn't a Christian. Repent. Just repent. Either or either just repent and come back to Jesus. Love you guys. Holy Spirit, as we go out, I cover everybody in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you'll be with your people and comfort them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I love you guys. This video is for someone. Women of God that you've been in authority in the church, repent. If you've hurt a young person, 
or a family or a young person that's come to you and they've been through some hardship, you better repent. You better repent. If you've broken some families and you men of God, if you've broken some families, you better repent. You better repent. Furthermore, you better call those families and say sorry if you if you need them, if you have access to them. In Jesus' mighty name. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Just to make it clear, we serve a God of love. God is love. So um, if anyone turns away from their wicked ways and they repent, God is ready to reset, accept that individual, accept that person. So I was telling you my testimony of when I was in relationships of domestic violence. Yeah, I don't know what these men are today. They might have repented. They might know Jesus Christ. They might be that they, they might have changed. But me, I was just giving you my testimony when I was in a abusive relationship. So please understand if these individuals have changed, because I'm talking over like, um, what, 10, no, like even 15 years ago. So if these people have changed today, these men, I can't hold them. Yeah, because that's not what the God that I, I serve tells me to do. I'm trying to make anyone that is going through domestic violence understand that they don't have to go through that process. They don't have to live it. They don't have to stay in it. So please have an open mind to understand that I am telling you my story, okay, to help somebody else. So I don't have nothing against... um. And the father of my children, I don't have nothing against them. I wish them well. I wish that they um, do know Christ or uh, have transformed their life. And, you know, I just wish they, they know Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's it, you know. But please understand that this is my testimony. So do I do not serve a God that bashes people. I serve a God that is of love. So I pray for the father of my children every day that they will know Christ, that they will, someone will worship, um, minister to them about the love of Jesus Christ. So please viewers understand that I'm, I'm, I serve a God of love. I am love as well. Jesus Christ is love. The Holy Spirit is love. The Father God in heaven is love. Three in one. So please, this is just emotions were arising. And just to remember you know, where, where I used to, how far I've come. And second of all, that pastor that just shoot a, a woman, like to kill a woman just like that. It, it, re it was really like emotions came, came back to me. So please understand. Um, I was telling my story and I went back there, you know, and as I said, some people don't get to tell their truth. So yeah, anyone that hears this or sees this video, I pray that the Holy Spirit will touch you to, for you to understand you don't need to stay in that relationship. If it's an abusive relationship, if you don't feel safe, get out. If you're a born again Christian, pray or ask counsel from the right people that you trust. All right. Thank you. God bless you. I just had to make that clear. Um, maybe the men that I had been involved with, maybe they've changed. Um, there's still room to, you know, accept Jesus Christ, repent from your sins and come back to the Lord. That's all I've got to say. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Edessa. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.